Welcome back to the John Roberts Gaming Channel. This is John Roberts, and it is a new year, and we have some new games for you. Uh, this season is getting close to coming to an end, and we haven't even finished our placement matches. So, earning a rank in this season probably isn't something that's going to happen, but let's finish up our placement matches and see where this can go. So, we have for you Access Placement 4. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, Germany, round one. So Russia, round one, two tanks and four infantry. So standard by, two standard attacks. He retreated from Ukraine, left a tank and a fighter. He retreated with three tanks, one infantry, one artillery, and two fighters. So he only lost two infantry and only lost three infantry in West Russia. So that wasn't a bad round for him at all. Put the two fighters in Caucasus. Put an anti-aircraft gun in West Russia. Put the submarine in C Zone 7. Move the infantry to Chest 1. One infantry to Russia. Two infantry to Archangel. One infantry to Avenki. Three infantry to Yakut. Two tanks in Russia. Four infantry in Caucasus. So now seeing that I have six fighters, I don't think I'm gonna go for the bomber. I'm just gonna go for land. 11 infantry, 2 artillery. Classic buy. I think I'm going to go for C zone 10. So I don't think I could stack Karelia. He can get in there with 18, so we could take it light. Use this transport, take one infantry. I'm gonna take Iceland. Okay, that looks good. May the dice gods be with us.
So that was not great. Yeah. I normally go in here with six. Let's pull out of here. Take this fighter, land it in Northwest Europe. This tank up to Baltic. All the tanks are going to Baltic, all of them. These two infantry up to Baltic. All the fighters to Northwest Europe. I'm gonna put two of these infantry in Ukraine. Two infantry in each. I wanna make them work to get these back. Make sure you bring the anti-aircraft gun from Germany. Put the anti-aircraft gun from France into Northwest Europe. I put a second infantry in Northwest Europe also. Bring the anti-aircraft gun up from Italy. Combine these two. Bring this infantry over. Okay. Let us mobilize. I put both artillery in Germany. The chances of having a transport left are slim to none. And if I do have a transport left, I'll just take two infantry or one infantry. Let's see it, UK. Okay, Japan, round one. Let's look what uh, UK did. Three infantry, two fighters. Took Morocco. Got the transport in C Zone 3. Took care of C Zone 17. Lost one fighter. Took care of C Zone 61. No units lost. Went from my sub, my sub submerged. Put a fighter in Archangel. Hmm. That's interesting. Put a fighter in West Russia, landed a bomber and fighter in Egypt. One infantry to Yunnan, one infantry to Burma, and one infantry to Rhodesia. The two fighters in the UK and the three infantry in India. All right, the Japanese need two transports. Let's go. I want Bariatia. I also want Anway. We'll use a fighter there. We'll go for Yunnan and for Burma. Oh, we can't leave this transport. So let's get that transport. We're definitely going to want that not there. And this other fighter, I guess, can help in Burma. Go for the Pearl Harbor. Oh wow, I almost forgot to attack Season 61. I did that once before. I did that once before, and let's go with it. May the dice gods be with us, please.
That all went relatively well. In fact, pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's pick up these two units from Philippines. I'm gonna land them in Quang Tung. I'm gonna land these fighters all in Quang Tung. These two fighters to see Zone 36 with the aircraft carrier and the battleship. I think that should make it unreasonable for him to try and send a bomber and a fighter or something. I'm going to land these both on Solomon. Okay. The three transports should be safe in C-Zone 60. And let's see what the Allies have in store for us. Germany round two. So for USA round one, two infantry, two tanks, two transports, and a fighter. Looks like there was no combat. Put a fighter in India, two infantry in Kazakh, one destroyer to see zone 13, one fighter to Morocco, one bomber to the United Kingdom, an infantry and a fighter to Eastern Canada, Two fighters to Western Canada. Excuse me, two infantry. A cruiser to 11. Move these units down to 19. And a fighter to Central USA. Fighter and two tanks and two infantry in Eastern United States and two transports in 11 for mobilization. So Germany. I think I could stack up Corellia. This is 19 units, and let's assume that I lose three units taking out these three units. That's still 16, 17 actually, and he would have 19 that he could come in here with. Okay, well let's just take a uh, lightly. If I use a fighter for each of these, that leaves three fighters. I think I'm gonna attack 13 with my three fighters. He only has one destroyer and one cruiser. So I think I take Persia. May the dice gods be with us. Okay, that all went pretty well, except uh, Corellia. It's kind of very frustrating when you have to see something like that occur. 
So I'm going to land fighters back uh, northwest Europe, except the one fighter that won't reach. We'll put them in Baltic. These two fighters will go to northwest Europe. I'm going to put one more infantry there. I don't want them trying to attack this with aircraft or something. Put one infantry in Poland. A few infantry in Baltic. The artillery as well. Let's leave two infantry in each. Put an extra infantry here. Yeah, I think that's better because I still stack this up and I want to give him many options. None of which are that advantageous. Bring the three infantry from Italy up into Germany. Combine this. Africa is all but lost. Not much we could do about it. All right. Tank and infantry in Germany and three infantry in Italy. Let's see what UK has got in store for us. Japan, round two. UK, round two. Three tanks. Tank blitz Algeria, Persia. No units lost in battle. Libya lost three infantry. Destroyed three infantry, one tank, and one artillery, but lost three infantry. Alright, fighter. Bomber to Caucasus. Two fighters to India. One infantry to Anglo Egypt. Two fighters to West Russia. One cruiser, one submarine to 45. The three tanks in India. So Japan, 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 Japan. Seems to be going after Germany, so I don't think I really have to worry about the Pacific too much. We'll always keep an eye on it. We have four transports. We have seven, eight, nine units. So let's get seven units. Let's get a fighter. And we'll save two IPCs, because we may need an industrial complex or something next round. I like that. We will, of course, take free land. Thusly. I think it's worth it to see if we can take care of this little contingent here so that he can't cause any more trouble. All right. May the dice gods be with us. Alright, well, we lost the fighter, but we got the transport and the cruiser. I think that that's worth it, and we can bring this bomber to Kwangtung. Let's take an infantry back from Burma. Bring this infantry up to Yunnan. Let's ball up all these units in Yunnan. And we'll put the fighters in Yunnan. Take all of these units, except for one. We'll put them all in Yunnan. And those two fighters in Yunnan. Also, the aircraft carriers can remain empty for now. Double and triple check. Very good. We only have one industrial complex, so that's what we will use to mobilize. And we send it over to the Allies to see what they got in store for us. Germany, round three. So we got to look at US 2, two transports, two tanks, a bomber, one bombing raid, two IPCs, moved units over in Africa, moved a tank to Libya, a fighter to Caucasus, a bomber to United Kingdom, a cruiser to 13, three fighters to Morocco, and some units to Morocco as well. Naval units to C-Zone 12, and a transport to C-Zone 11. 
mobilized one bomber and two tanks and two transports in C Zone 11. And then the Soviet Union, here they are, seven infantry and two artillery. Finland lost an infantry there. Xinjiang lost an infantry there. And Belarusia lost an infantry there. Took all three. Moved some units to West Russia. One infantry to Karelia and one infantry to Ukraine. So with the Germans, so unfortunately, I don't think we're capable of holding any of these three territories. We're going to have to take them all lightly. Let's purchase our units first. Repair one, and we can purchase 12 units. That's the best we could do, so that's what we'll do. Would like to purchase a fighter, because I'm likely to lose another fighter. But he left two transports. I think it is worth it to use up these fighters like this. So we'll keep that going. Okay. May the dice gods be with us. Okay, that worked out well. Let's put the fighter back in Baltic States. We'll land these two fighters back in Northwest. We'll take an infantry out of Northwest. We don't need them there anymore. So move the uh, anti-aircraft gun into Karelia, just to make it more of a pain for him to get this back. Put five in Baltic, and the rest I'm gonna put in, not the rest, not the rest. Four of them. Leave behind three. Move this other anti-aircraft gun and put that in Baltic. Three infantry from Italy. I forgot about those three infantry, so... I'm gonna move these three. I think I'm gonna put a second infantry here in Ukraine. That way, we have multiple units in all three of these frontline spots. That looks like everything. All right. Let's see it, UK. Japan, round three. So United Kingdom, round three, was three tanks and two fighters. The bombing raid, successful, four IPCs, and took Transjordan. Short up India. A couple of units to Egypt. Submarine lurking down at 37. Bomber on United Kingdom, and then three tanks to India and two fighters to United Kingdom. I think it's time to get an industrial complex. It's definitely time and we can get seven infantry and an artillery. That works. Take this free land up here in Avenki. I think I'm going to take this out. I think this is a little treasure that he kind of sent over here. He'll be able to assault with the United States, but that's okay. Use this tank here. Use all the aircraft here. Okay, that looks good. May the dice gods be with us.
course, he gets a lucky break there and has a good comeback. So good for him. And bring to Yakut. I'm going to take one transport, two infantry, and I'm going to land them in Manchuria. I'm going to put two <laughs> anti I'm going to put two aircraft carriers in 62 just to defend that one transport, just in case. Just in case I'm missing something. Okay, all of these into Yunnan. And now let's bring up all of this. Let's just bring it all up since he had this nice outcome here and has this tank left here. Is it okay? Did I check everything? That's good. We just check this. Industrial complex in Manchuria and all the units on Japan. And we'll send it over to the Allies. We'll see what they have in store for us. Okay, that's episode one of Axis Placement 4. If you enjoy this video, then please like, share, subscribe, do all those wonderful things that you do. Please remember to join us for episode two of Axis Placement 4. And as always, thank you for watching.